Hi guys, it's Fiona here from Bridge 38 Physiotherapy and Sports Injuries Clinic. I've got a four part series, uh, video series coming up for you each week and we're going to be looking at gaining control of our trunk muscles. There are a series of exercises called the Greyhounds and they've been developed by a physiotherapist called Joanne Elphinstone from GEMS, which is Joe Elphinstone Movement Systems, which you can find more information online. We're going to start off at a low level where we're going to focus on just doing some easy movements without bracing and using too much effort of the trunk. And then as we progress up, we'll be going up to some higher levels. It is important that you get the foundation exercises done first and that you can feel that you're doing them correctly, which we'll talk you through uh, the videos as we do this. If you have any questions, give me a shout at info at bridge38physiotherapy.co.uk or you can visit my website where you can contact me through there, www.bridge38physiotherapy.co.uk. Well, let's get on to the first exercise, which we're going to go through levels one to three, which most people should manage fairly easily, but it may take you a week to two weeks to get the idea of doing these correctly. Start with your arms up to the ceiling and then slowly lower the arms back behind your head, allowing the tummy just to drop towards the spine. There should be no bracing through the tummy as you do this exercise. Keep the ribs just nicely placed on the mat. Don't let the ribs pop up towards the ceiling, but equally don't try and fix the ribs towards your tummy. When you master this, then we'll move on to the leg movements. I'd recommend doing about 10 of the arm movements first before moving on to the legs. When we do the legs, you're going to slide one leg out along the floor and as you get to the end, just gently pull the foot up towards you. Again, the tummy should be feeling like it's dropping down towards the spine. Alternate legs and see if you can make sure that the pelvis stays nice and level, that it doesn't rock from side to side. So that's me rocking. I'm exaggerating the movement there. But you'll notice sometimes you might find there's little rocks, not as big as those, but that was just for the purpose of the video. Equally out there, I've just popped up my rib cage. So you can see my rib cage has popped off the floor and I can stick my hand underneath my back there. Once you've mastered the legs, then we're going to go on to the level three, which is combining both the arm movements and the leg movements together. So float the hands up to the ceiling and we're going to take both arms behind our head as we lengthen out. So this is where you'll get the idea of the greyhound probably, because as you'll feel your tummy dropping down towards your spine, you might think of, if you imagine a greyhound, his rib cage, and then how his tummy drops towards, um, sort of up, up the rib cage and, and in the way. So that's the sort of feeling you want to be getting. The tummy should be soft and not braced. Again, I would do about 10 repetitions on each leg every day. 